Base skills are cool. They make the buildings in your base work faster, giving you more items like LMD and DXP. But unfortunately, base operators have limited morale, and base skills turn off when morale runs out. So every once in a while, we have to rotate them out with other operators, which can be pretty annoying. But what if I told you there's a trick to base rotations that lets you rotate less often, swap fewer operators around, and increase your base output all at the same time? Let's jump right in with an example. Suppose we have a level 2 factory producing gold bars, and we have 4 operators available. Gravel, Spot, Vanilla, and Yado. Gravel and Spot have better base skills, so we'll use them as the main team. After 24 hours, when their morale is low, we'll use Vanilla and Yado to fill in for them while they rest in the dorms. All dorms recover at least 2 morale per hour, as long as you have enough furniture. So 12 hours is enough to recover 24 morale, and this rotation pattern can repeat forever. But there are some problems with this. We're swapping out all operators at the same time, and if you do this for all facilities in the base, you can easily run out of space in the dorms. If you look at my base, for example, there are 5 operators in the trading posts, 12 in the factories, 2 in the power plants, 5 in the control center, and 3 in the right side buildings. That's 27 operators in total that we'll be swapping out at the same time, and the dorms can only hold 20. Fixing this problem is pretty simple. First, let's adjust our schedule so Vanilla swaps in a bit earlier. Now that Vanilla and Yado aren't working at the same time, we don't even need Yado anymore. We can just replace her with another vanilla shift. The cool thing about this new schedule is that we never swap out two operators at the same time anymore. To see what I'm talking about, let's run this schedule twice and rearrange it a little. Notice how after the first 12 hours, we replace gravel with vanilla, but spot stays where he is. And 12 hours later, vanilla stays where she is, but we replace spot with gravel. So in each swap, we're only sending one operator to the dorms. This strategy is pretty easy to use in practice. Every 12 hours, just take the operator with the least morale and swap them out like this. We call this technique staggered rotations since only one operator swaps out at a time. Staggered rotations let you move fewer operators around, so base rotations become easier, and you can avoid problems with dorm space. Staggered rotations also improve base output. Since fewer operators are needed, you can avoid using base skills that are less powerful. For example, earlier we removed Yado from our schedule by replacing her with Vanilla, whose base skill is 10% better. Staggering rotations like this works in any facility with multiple operator slots, such as trading posts and the reception room. You can also stagger rotations for two power plants by treating them like a single facility. Every 12 hours, swap out the operator with less morale and leave the other power plant alone. For trading posts and factories at level 3, staggered rotations work the same way. Morale drain is slower for these facilities, so most operators can work for around 37 hours at a time. If you swap a single operator every 12 hours, they will only need to work for 36 hours. This does mean that timing your rotations is a lot more strict, since operators will almost be out of morale by the time you swap them out. If you miss your rotation by more than an hour, they will run out of morale. But if you don't want to stick to a super tight schedule, you can swap operators out after 24 hours instead of 36. Every other rotation, just swap out two operators instead of one. You'll need an extra filler operator when you swap out two operators. In this example, we've added deep color. But in exchange, you get 13 hours of flexibility in your rotations. Even if you forget to rotate your base once, your operators will still be working just fine. Alternatively, there are also operators like Winar and Zhongyue who reduce morale consumption across the entire base. But I'll go over those later. Other facilities, like level 2 trading posts and factories, don't get the same morale bonus as level 3 facilities. So operators working there can't work for 36 hours, and you'll have to swap them out earlier. But this also means you have 8-10 to 10 hours of leeway in those rotations. So as long as you rotate your base twice a day, it doesn't really matter exactly when those rotations happen. There's one last problem with our strategy so far. A lot of base skills need to be used in combos for the best effect, and staggering operators like this can disrupt those combos. For example, Weedy and Unectus work well in a factory together, since their base skills don't cancel each other out. But if we try to stagger them with a third operator, this filler operator will constantly get their own skill cancelled out. 
Instead, we can stagger entire teams of operators between multiple facilities. Let's set up a second factory with another combo, Bubble and Vulcan. If we don't use staggered rotations, we'll have something like this, where we swap four operators out all at once, so we need four filler operators. Just like before, let's adjust this schedule so Vanilla and Steward swap in earlier. And now we can get rid of Yato and Meteor by using Vanilla and Steward again. So all the same principles apply. Now we're only sending two operators to the dorms at a time, instead of four, and we've improved our base output since Vanilla and Steward have better base skills than Yato and Meteor. This technique also works for trading posts and for level 3 facilities. For example, here's a schedule for two trading posts at level 3 that I once used myself. Shamari and Jay's teams are more powerful, so they stay in for longer, and the Penguin Logistics team fills in when they need to rest. Before I end this video, let's go over a few base skills that can benefit base rotations in general. Starting off, we have Fia Meta. Her base skill lets her swap morale with another operator, which lets other operators work constantly without ever resting in the dorms. For more details, check out my video about her base skills specifically. You can apply the principles of staggered rotations to Fiametta's refreshes too. Every 12 hours, instead of letting an operator rest in the dorms, just use Fiametta to refresh their morale back to full. Since all of these operators are working constantly now, this strategy works for combos of base skills too. Here's an example where Shamare, Tequila, and Bybeek are constantly working. If you'd like more details and examples, check out my Fiametta video. Next up is Muinar, who can reduce the morale drain of almost all facilities in the base. He takes these smiley face base skills and applies their morale reduction effect to trading posts, factories, power plants, the reception room, and the office. He also gives an additional morale bonus to some of these facilities. Since Muinar has a smiley face skill himself, you don't need to pair him up with other smiley faces to use him. Winnar alone can already benefit your rotation schedule. Normally, only level 3 trading posts and factories can have their operators work for 36 hours, and other facilities drain morale too fast. This is no longer the case if Winnar is used. For example, here's our schedule from the start of the video, where we have 3 operators working for 24 hours at a time. With Winnar's morale boost, we can let Gravel and Spa work longer, which also means Vanilla works less often. Since Gravel and Spot have more powerful base skills, we end up with slightly more production. It's not a huge improvement, but it's nice to have. Winner's morale boost also applies to a bunch of other facilities, so all of these facilities can now have longer shifts and higher production. You can also use Munar with other smiley face base skills for a stronger morale boost, but this doesn't have a big impact and usually isn't worth doing. It's better to use other control center base skills that boost production directly like Amia and Kalsit. Zhongyue has a similar base skill to Winar's. He also gives a morale boost to the same facilities, which can benefit your rotations in the same way. Zhongyue also gives worldly play, which synergizes with operators like Mr. Nothing and Mulberry. So try to combo him with these operators if you can. Having more worldly play also makes his morale buff stronger. And that's all I've got for today. Now you know how to use staggered rotations to make it easier to manage your base while also improving its output. These strategies work for all base layouts, so everyone can benefit from staggering their rotations, no matter what base setup you use. There are a lot of other more specific ways to improve base output, like base skill combos and complicated rotation schedules, but I'll save those for future videos. And now for a channel update. This channel hit 5,000 subscribers a couple months ago, so thanks for all the support. I'm going to continue making base-related content like base skill overviews and other informational videos. Speaking of which, I've got another video coming out soon about another trick to make base management even easier, so look forward to that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.